Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a candles empty for all of you guys to share. Um, I've gone through quite the candle collection here of burning in the past month. So let's jump on in. Um, and I've done this video like three times. For some reason my webcam is getting a little wonky on me. So um, just bear with me. The very first candle that I was going to show you guys actually broke. And um, it was Espresso Bar by Bath and Body Works. And that one, it burned really nice and clean and even. And I didn't have any problems with it. Except for when I got about halfway down, I noticed that the scent got a little bit tart. Which was kind of gross because like you don't really want tart coffee smelling in your house. But anyway, um, other than that, it was a pretty good candle. So let's get into the other ones that I have here. The first one is Honeysuckle Bouquet. And this is by Bath and Body Works. This is um, a mason jar. This one was okay. Um, this one also cracked as I put it in the bag there. But this is the only one. Um, the burn was really good on this. No, you know, real big problems. And um, the scent was okay, but I would not repurchase it again. The next candle that I have here is by Bath and Body Works. And this is um, also another mason jar in Sun Drenched drenched vineyard sorry I have a hard time pronouncing that one really fast but anyway um this one was okay as well it just kind of smelled like a synthetic kind of grape scent to me nothing too major um and then it also sooted towards the end there and that's all I really need to say about that one uh, next, this one is probably the worst out of all of them that I have here. This is Cinnamon Sugar Donut, and this is also obviously in the mason jars. You guys can see the label pretty much kind of burnt off. Um, it like melted, which is crazy to me from the heat, and I got no scent at all from this candle in my bathroom, and I had so much soot that I literally thought I was going to die, but I did burn it all the way down. Um, the soot kind of came towards the end, but obviously the candle got way too hot for the um, label, and it just melted off literally. Then I have a Goose Creek candle to show you. This one is in Holiday or Halloween Greetings. It's Blackberry Bourbon. And this is their new three wick oblong jar. I love this candle. Um, the glass is super, super thick. And I highly suggest you guys trying the oblong jars. I really like them a lot. And um, it burned very, very nice, clean and even for me. And the scent uh, was pretty good as well. Next, I have a Yankee candle, and this one is in a swirl jar, medium, in Garden Party, and the swirl is Midnight Jasmine and Garden Sweet Pea. And this one, as you guys can see, is super clean. Um, it had a nice kind of floral, powdery scent, really, really beautiful, and um, the burn was very, very clean and even. Uh, next, I have a Cheerful Giver candle, and this is in the scent Berry Berry Becca Boo. There's that one. And this was one that I picked up in a catalog, or not a catalog, online, and it was like less than $5. And it actually smells like Bird of Paradise. If you guys are familiar with that scent, that scent that's what this one smelled like. But I had this in the guinea pig room. It threw very nicely, and it also burned very nicely. Next, I have a Kringle candle. The only Kringle candle that I have here um, in this collection that I burned, and this is Gardenia. I got this when they were super, super cheap on sale for like less than $7. It's a two-wick pillar, and um, it burned really nice and even, as you guys can see, but halfway down, the wick started getting very, very puny to the point where I was worried that it was going to extinguish itself, but it didn't, but I was still worried about it, and then the scent kind of followed where... It was kind of strong up in here, but then really lingered bad down there. So um, I would not repurchase that candle again. The scent was nice, but it just wasn't strong enough for me. 
Next, I have a Bath and Body Works three wick candle here in cinnamon caramel swirl. This one I didn't like at all. The wicks were super, super thick in the beginning, huge mushroom tops. So I trimmed the puppies down and then it puttered out and extinguished itself. Um, so, and the smell on this, I actually got very sick. It was almost too sweet, too caramely, too syrupy, not to my liking at all. I got that at a semi annual sale a few years ago and I just wouldn't repurchase it again. Next is Sweet Violet by Yankee Candle. And this one I bought because I explained this in my review. There was a little girl or there is a little girl that I take care of at work and her name is Violet and she is so, so cute. Such a little pumpkin. So I decided to pick this one up and this one I had burning in my bathroom. My bathroom or my gas bath? No, my gas bathroom. Because actually, I had a company over and they commented on how they love this scent. It's a lighter scent, but it is definitely a floral, powdery scent, and I really like it. I love the label. Did uh, give me some soot problems, as you guys can see towards the end of there. So just you know, know that about Yankee Candle. Uh, next, I have another Yankee candle, and this is in Crisp Apple Strudel. This was definitely a winner in my book. It threw like a dream. Think of the most fragrant, strong apple cider that you can possibly think of mixed with an apple-y bakery note, and oh my gosh, this is in the Food and Spice. I love the label. It's perfect for fall. Um, I just started burning it just because it was getting colder here in Wisconsin, and it was really nice. Um, as you guys can see, there are a little bit of rings around the edges, but the burn was pretty good all the way down, and it threw very nicely. Now let's get into some Goose Creek large jars. Now for some reason I did not do a review on this candle and I don't know why. I just didn't for some reason. But this is Pumpkin Pie by Goose Creek and um, I actually got this last year and saved it and like I said it's been getting cold here so I decided to just light it up and give it a try. But it's too wick. I had no problem whatsoever as you guys can see. With my Goose Creek candles in the large jars and the oblong jar that I've had had. I have had no soot problem whatsoever, ever, ever, ever on Goose Creek if you buy straight from the company. Um, if I get these candles like from Tuesday morning, uh, TJ Maxx, Gordman's, um, I will get soot. I will have problems, but straight from the company, I never do. And then I also have this one by Goose Creek. This is in the scent Blueberry Cake Donut. I had gotten this in a large jar and also a tumbler in this scent. The tumbler um, was excellent as well, no problems. But this one I love because it is a blueberry note and then you get the cake added in. And when I mean cake, when I say cake, it's like a white birthday cake beautiful beautiful it's ve it's very hard for me to find um a candle company that has white cake in it and i feel like they really got it on this one again really nice and clean and look at all the oils in there it's like heaven it smells so good and then I only have one more candle left. Yeah, just one more. And this is Yankee Candle Wild Passion Fruit. Love this candle so much. Um, I picked this candle at the end of August. Actually, it was like the middle of August, so it took like a good two weeks to burn. But this one is really nice. You get that tangerine scent along with the beautiful, fresh, you know, wild passion fruit and just smells so good. Got a little bit dirty uh, going on in there. We got some soot on the top, not too much. And as you guys can see, the wax rings, um, we're dealing with some wax rings here, probably about the middle of the jar down, a um, little bit of tunneling. I had to sweater it, I think, once. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that was basically all that I have been burning like for the past two, three weeks. Um, if you guys have any of these candles, please leave a comment down below letting me know which ones you liked, which ones you didn't like, which ones you might possibly buy, and yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye, everybody.